Welcome back. Today we are discussing an extremely handy tool that will be most useful to those of you who, like me, are addicted to trying out new Macintosh software. One of the nice things about the Mac platform is the form and structure of the applications themselves. Some of you may have already discovered that an OS X application is really just a fancy folder with a shiny icon that, of course, contains all of the source and resources necessary to run the program. One of the first things that a new switcher, as they've come to be known, will notice is that uninstalling an application consists of merely moving it to the trash. Now, we all know that this works, but it's actually a little messy as most of the applications have at least one preference file that is not stored within the app. So, in the interest of keeping a tidy Mac and doing things to perfection, I present to you today an open source and thus free tool that preserves the one step removal of a Macintosh application. Enter App Cleaner from the developers over at FreeMacSoft. Let's get started. The first way one can utilize App Cleaner to delete files, rather applications from your Macintosh, is to drag the undesired program onto the App Cleaner icon in the dock, for example. You can see here that App Cleaner has found a related preference file and would like to trash that as well. Press the delete button and it's gone into the trash. Now another method would be to drag here onto the drop panel. No need to demonstrate that as it works exactly the same way. Let's go into the preferences for a moment. In the general settings we have an area here that is referred to as the protected zone. And what you can do is sort of provide a line of defense against accidentally deleting an application that at some point at least you had decided you were going to keep. So I've added dot matrix here to the list and I'm going to now drag it to the app cleaner drop zone and you can see that it protests because it sees that particular application in the list. So you tell it OK and it does not delete the program. Go ahead and take that back out of there because we do want to delete it next with Smart Delete. Now Smart Delete is not enabled by default so you'll just have to turn it on. Uh, it states here that Smart Delete detects when apps are trashed and will automatically find an offer to remove the related files. So the, uh, the way this works is App Cleaner is not running and you send a file, uh, an application to the trash as you would any other file. Uh, I like to use the keyboard shortcut, Command Delete, and App Cleaner is aware and knows that you're trying to delete an application and offers to get rid of the related preference file here as well. So I'll go ahead and delete that. Let's open it up one more time for you. We haven't explored the toolbar yet. Um, outside of the dragging functionality, you can actually, any of the programs that are already in your application folder which includes your utilities folder that is inside your application folder, App Cleaner is already aware of. And you can simply go in and pick it out and tell it to delete. Now I tend to be really picky about what I put in my application folder. This is why I have a software to review folder. So I'm not going to delete any of these things, but it's nice to know that you can. Um, widgets. App Cleaner is aware of widgets as well. So here we go. Again, I'm going to keep my widgets, but I think that you understand how it works. Another nice feature, however, are uh, small little plugins and preference panes that get installed along the way. Screensavers, for example. So, you know, Google recently released its web video chat capability for the various browsers, it requires a browser plugin. Um, App Cleaner has found those here, and if you wanted to remove them, I'm sure Google provides an uninstaller, but App Cleaner can take care of these kinds of things for you as well. So most of you out there are probably Mac users for a while now, uh, and, and most likely you will be for quite a while. Um, and you can imagine after several years of trying out new applications that your, you know, your preference folder and your application support folder can be full of kipple, as it were. Um, so App, App Cleaner is a perfect solution to keeping your Mac nice and tidy. Well, we hope you enjoyed the video today. Hope that your application deletion process is improved by App Cleaner. See you next time.